Today we're going to talk about the on schedule setup and utilization. So initially here, when we look at our schedule and our appointments, we're seeing a lot of different colors here. A couple of different ways you can view the schedule is by appointment type color and or provider color. So the appointment type, if you double click on the appointment, the appointment type is actually going to show here. And what that does is it go ahead, it defaults a, a time that you typically would um, allow for this particular procedure. Um, it's also going to default which type of provider. Um, if it's a restorative procedure, it will default a dentist. Um, if it's a um, preventative or hygiene procedure, you're going to have it um, default to a hygienist. So we always like to pick the appointment type um, of what we're doing that day. And that is all done in your setup. So under your practice management screen, under lists, if you go down to the on schedule and appointment types, this is where you're gonna go ahead and create these different appointment types. So you can get as specific and detailed with these as you'd like, um, or as general as you'd like. Uh, but for instance, if we look at a profi, we've given it a description. You can enter a usual amount if you'd like, that's not necessary. An appointment type color, and then who is it normally performed by? So we have that marked as a hygienist. And then this is gonna update their next preventive appointment you can pick your uh, typical duration, and then you go ahead down here and you mark um, which time is going to be with the hygienist and which time during that appointment will be with the, with the dentist. So I typically leave about five minutes, 10 minutes at the end for the dentist to come in and do the uh, periodic exam. So to change the color, you simply just click on the color and then you can go ahead and pick it. You can change, um, the hue of it on the side here as well. So this just kind of sets the default for the appointment um, procedure. You can certainly, if for some reason you need to um, add time to that specific appointment, you can certainly do that as well. You could do it one of two ways. Let's just say um, we have an emergency here which we have defaulted to 30 minutes, but we know this is gonna take a little longer. I can grab the bottom of that appointment and drag it, or I could click within that appointment and change that time here. I could change that duration within the actual appointment. So having that set as a default is quite helpful. Again, you can customize it at the time you schedule that appointment if needed. Um, so I like looking at the appointment type view because you can kind of just come in and take a glance and see what you're doing for the day. It's also helpful to look by provider colors as well. So if this is my column, I'm a hygienist and I'm Diane and my color is pink. If I see an appointment in here that's yellow, I know that I need to go in there and change the provider because this is um, listed under Deborah in my schedule. Now, if I don't correct that, I'm not going to get um, the, uh, the credit for the cleaning and it'll be inaccurate in the ledger that it was performed by Deborah when indeed it was Diane. So it's nice to come in, take a look at your schedule real quick, toggle back and forth between these, make sure your color's correct in your column. We can see Dr. Young is coming in to do some exams. Um, Dr. Morgan has some exams. So you can kind of look and see where you're supposed to be at what time as well. So I like having those provider colors in there. We'll talk about um, the calendar. So the calendar usually says go to day. Uh, I changed the, the name to calendar here. Um, so if you click it, you can dock this on the side of your schedule simply by just pushing the pin down here. 
if I click the pin again and I move away, it's going to go ahead and hide that calendar over here in the, um, the sidebar here. So I can hover over it, open it up. Once I move away, it hides again and I'll just pin it. I really like to have my calendar show up there. We also have the appointment queue. So this is helpful. I'll go ahead and dock this for a moment. If you need to move appointments to a different day, you can simply just drag the appointment over here to where it says move, release your left click. You can go to the, the day you need to reschedule it and you can drag it over and release. So very easy to move uh, appointments here. And we'll talk more about that appointment queue um, in, a, in a little bit here. So I'll go ahead back to today. The circle here is gonna take us back to today. We can move forward one day, back one day, move forward seven, or move backwards seven. You can also just click the days on the calendar as well. And you'll see up top, it does have uh, buttons for three months forward, six months forward as well, which is helpful when scheduling your recare. When we look at the top, the day at a glance is the day that we're looking at. The week at a glance is gonna go ahead and show you each day of the week that you're scheduled to work and each column so you'll be able to see where your openings are. And the month at a glance gives you a month summary. So it's going to go ahead and show you how many appointments you have for each particular day, what your scheduled production is, your goal. So if you have goals set up within your um, providers, within your provider hours, that goal will show up here your percentage of goal and production as well. You can also look on the bottom and you'll get your monthly totals that you're scheduled for, what your goal is, any new patients scheduled. Here we see another hyperlink. So if you click that, it'll bring up who those new patients are. And then anything um, down here on the lower right is going to depend on which day you select. Those values are going to change. So if I'm looking at today, I can see I have um, $9,569 scheduled. My goal is 6,000. I have two new patients and 41 appointments. So I can see these colors are in green because I have exceeded my goal. Anything in red means we're below goal. So that is in the setup here. You can determine in that setup at your month at a glance, at what point do you want your text color to change? When you're at 100% of your goal, do you want it to be green? And when do you want it to be red? So you can customize how you're viewing that. You can also customize your um, day at a glance display. And we'll go through that momentarily. We'll go back to our day at a glance. So when we look at our schedule, what determines what we see within that appointment? Right now, we're seeing lots of little icons. We're seeing phone numbers. We're seeing names. We're seeing services. I see an amount and a time. So again, in our setup, we can go ahead and determine what we want to see within that appointment. The top here is the appointment display information. So this is where you're um, putting in here uh, the first name, last name, you know, your cell phone number, your dollar scheduled start time. These are the merge fields up here. So depending on what you want. So if I want to enter in, um, you know, patient uh, sex, I can go ahead and select that and hit insert. And then that will show up um, on there as well. So then we can see that right here on the bottom of that appointment. And to remove it, you simply go back into the setup. And then you could just kind of um, backspace and delete it. 
and the start time too. I'll go ahead and take that out of there. Um, these are your indicators. So which it, what indicators would you like to show up on your screen? You could simply select it and hit add or select and hit remove. This is telling you how many columns of indicators you want to display. So my maximum column here is six. So we're gonna get one, two. So depending on how many indicators you have, you'll get um, that many columns, whatever you choose here. You can also customize how far these are going to move you advance or uh, backwards here. So you can set that up too. This performance options, if you want to display your goal, which is gonna show in your upper left, then you would click that. Your triple book and double book info. So you see on the side here, I have some yellow and some pink or red. That's showing me where we're double booked and where we're triple booked. Okay, so this is also customizable. Your background color and your closed time color. So you can change these if you'd like. You can print your schedule, portrait or landscape, show print preview. So I know some offices still like to print their schedule, which is fine. And then we already talked about our month at a glance display. You can create different views for different days if you'd like. So if there's, um, you know, if you have a big practice and you have many providers on the schedule and say you have three hygienists and they just wanna see, you know, their hygiene schedule for the day, they can create a hygiene view. Um, so when you look at that here, we're just showing hygiene. Um, we can go right back to the front office view, which is showing everybody here. So in order to create a view, um, what you need to do is if you wanna hide certain um, doctors from that view, if you right click, you can hide chair, right? So we don't see Dr. Young anymore. And then you could go up to view and save. Um, so we could call that Dr. Morgan and hygiene. So when we go back to views here, we can look at a clinical view of just that. We can look at our Dr. Morgan and hygiene, okay? So we'll just go ahead and put Dr. Young back here. So let's show chair. And now we're back to normal. So if for some reason you're not seeing a chair on the schedule and you want to, right click and hit show chair. Now also in your setup, um, this is going to determine too how many columns you want to see on the schedule. And then also you can pick if you want to show the time on the right hand side as well. I like to see my time on both sides. And then you have this patient pop up detail, right? So when you hover over the appointment, you'll get a, a little pop up appointment detail with the patient photo. If you don't want to see that, you can disable that simply by unchecking these buttons here. So you, you essentially really have control over what your schedule looks like. This locate button with the binoculars up here um, is a really great tool. If someone calls on the phone and wants to know when their next appointment is, you could simply come in here, type their name, hit tab, select who it is, and you can see any current appointments so when you look down on the lower left you can see current appointments it's telling you who has the appointment within that account and the appointment type you can see all past appointments okay you can go to the appointment or just view the appointment so you can see exactly you know what's being done if you need to um, get a little more detailed information so that locate appointment is great. You can even delete appointments from here if you need to. We also have the quick fill and we'll talk about the quick fill here. So if a patient calls um, and has to cancel their appointment, we have Charles in here a couple of times, but say he needs to cancel his appointment, um, say he's ill. So we can right click, right click is my friend, 
um, or you can simply select it and hit delete here. And you're going to get this window here. You're going to um, mark what the appointment is. Is it failed, canceled, or neither? So I'm just going to call this one canceled because he did call and give me some notice. And then if I want to apply a cancellation fee, you could check this box here as well if you have that set up in your system. And you can also create an account note. So it's going to say patient canceled. Now we can put a quick fill note in here because we know Charles is going to call back and reschedule that appointment when he feels better. So we're going to go ahead and just save that appointment up in our quick fill list. Um, so I'm going to write a note, you know, patient has the flu. We'll call back to reschedule. And then you can also add that little quick fill note to the account as well. So now when I hit OK, it's going to remove him from the schedule. We can look up here in the quick fill. And we can see by date, if we want to sort it by date, we click that top. There's Charles Abbott. He's in there from July 29th. He had an appointment at 11. It was canceled for a crown and bridge. So when he calls back to schedule, when I double click on the schedule, and pull his name up, it's going to tell me that he has an appointment in the quick fill. Do you wish to review it? And I'm going to say yes, because I just want to pull that appointment back down in there. I don't want to create an entirely new appointment for him and bog that quick fill list down. So I can select that appointment and hit use. And it's going to go ahead and pull that right back into the schedule. Now, since he has a pre-med alert and a prescription assigned, it's going to ask me if we want to go ahead and um, prescribe that now. I'm just going to say no. So the quick fill is pretty great. Um, I have a whole nother video on the quick fill you might want to go check out. The appointment queue over here, we talked about the appointment queue. We can easily move appointments if we need to copy appointments. So if we have multiple appointments for the same thing, we can copy them and then we also can create family appointments. So if you have um, a family that like to come in at the same time to get their teeth cleaned, there is an icon on the toolbar that you can create family appointment. So you can go ahead and um, type in the name of the, the responsible party. This is going to have everyone in the, in the um, account. You can pick who you want to schedule here and then what the appointment type is. So let's just say they're all for cleanings. We'll go ahead and switch that and then we can hit save. And what happens is when we look in our queue, we'll see under family appointments, we have all of the Abbott family. So we can go to tomorrow and just drag and drop these appointments into the corresponding time that they're coming in. So I really um, like that ability there. If for some reason you don't see this create family appointment, it might be something else. Um, this icon is multifunctional here, so you can create a block from this. Um, you know, you can create a new appointment from this. So there's a couple different things and whatever you use last, is what's going to be there. So if you don't see the family, you could just click there. We'll go back to today. A little error here, one moment. 